Okay, I'm gonna get started on the chicken. This is actually gonna be some of the meat inside of, I'm gonna put inside the dressing, as well as have some leftover meat to eat. Now I know some people use turkey. I don't too much, I can eat it, but it's not like a big thing with me. I love ham though, but most of them are big, but I did see some small ones, and I started to get dead instead, but I'm like, okay, the price. <laughs> I'll just stick to my chicken, so I'm gonna make baked chicken to make up to substitute for the turkey. And also, I'm going to use some for the dressing. Now, the one that's skin, that's going to be for the dressing. The one that have the skin on it is actually going to be, you know, for me, you know. First, you want to clean it. Um, I clean it with apple cider vinegar and water. And clean that fat off of these are chicken thighs. I forgot what video, but I'll make sure I link it if the Lord is will. And if I remember, but I'll show you how to clean it. So, yeah, make sure you clean it real good. I'm already seasoning. I'm also going to season it with the diet complete seasoning. Okay, then I have my better than bouillon chicken. Um, what the teaspoon should be good. All right, I'm just gonna mix it around. I might add just a little bit more of that large seasoning. I wanna make sure I get the skin. But once they got the skin, as well as the white meat, you want all of it to be flavored, not just the skin. All right, I'm gonna transfer it into and I'm going to cook it in and add my chicken in there. Ice, peppers, you know, once I made in the collard green video. If you didn't see that, I need you to finish watching this video first <coughs> and then go to the video next. Oh, this is going to be juice and goodness that I'm going to put inside of my dressing. I hope y'all think that was it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of my unsalted butter. That's going to also add some juice and flavor when they go in the oven. Um, two teaspoons should be good. I'm going to soak a little bit of four and put it in the oven on 350. I have celery. I cut it the other day and I put it in the freezer so it won't go bad. So I take it out and throw it out. And I don't like how it's limpy and stuff. And I'm, I don't want it to mess up my food. So I put it in the oven to like dry it out on 350 for a few minutes. But it's still not how I would like it. I still want to incorporate it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just try something. I don't know how, how it will be. I'm going to put it in a blender and try to blend it up into like a um, paste or something. To incorporate it into my dressing probably. I use like half a teaspoon of that chick better than chicken beyond and I added a little bit of water and I'm just gonna add it into my celery in order for like when I blend it up it could be easier and I can have flavor as well. Okay I'm blending it up into like a little paste. I'm just waiting for the chicken to get done and then I'll let you know the next step. Get started with making my dressing. Now I have cornbread I made it yesterday. It's a jiffy mix. Yeah <laughs> don't come for me jiffy mix is good and I actually have to vouch for me, yes. <laughs> Usually I put all the fixes and everything in my Jiffy Mix, but since I'm just gonna use this as a base, but so I didn't do all that. I just followed the instructions on the back of the box. So if you're gonna do the same thing, I'm asking you to do it then. You know, go ahead and you break that apart. That was actually two boxes. I probably should've just used one. I know some people also use like croutons or something like that. I'm just gonna use a cornbread. I'm gonna season it with my rub sage. Two teaspoons should be good. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of my thyme. Probably like a teaspoon. All right, remember the celery I blended up earlier? I actually got this one as well. She blended, she blended hers up because she said she don't like like celery like that. So I was gonna cook my celery actually inside of my chicken. Then once it sauteed like that, I was gonna blend it up. But like I said, the celery come out how I want it to, so yeah. All right, now I'm gonna add in my cream of chicken. I'm just gonna mix it up for right now. I know it's not enough, but remember, remember I'm gonna put in the stuff that I made for the chicken and also the chicken. All right, I have my chicken. I'm gonna try to break it up without the bones in it. I'm gonna take all that out. Put the chicken in there. Why y'all wanna look at? <laughs> you feel me off camera? I'm opening the other can of cream of chicken. 
Now I still have a little bit of left for drippings. I'm gonna pour all this in here. This is my broth. Now we're gonna mix it. All right, what I did was added some more water as well as, you know, the, the celery I blend it up. I put it in here as well. And even though I got all the drippings, but I still wanted to get a little bit and I pour all of that in there with water. Not too much though. Okay, I added some more water to the can of cream of soup. And I'm just going to add a little bit by a little bit. Because one thing I can't stand is some dry behind dressing. Alright, I'm just going to add the rest of it. Okay, I'm going to mix it. I'm going to test it to see if I need to add any more season. It's good, but I think I need some more salt. So what I'm going to add is the bouillon. Like a teaspoon for right now. Okay, I mix it and I'm gonna taste it again. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. And okay, now we're gonna transfer the dressing into here. I have it grease all over. Okay, I'm gonna spray that in. I know some people probably wonder too. What her eggs? Yeah, I seen a recipe where they use eggs and this came out good. And I said, I ain't gonna use eggs too, because they said they don't like their stuff in like, um, you know, like hard or dry or anything like that. They like to build a spoon in, and that's exactly the way I like the mines. But I see, also seen people that use the eggs and they still have like spoonable dressing. But I feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it still come out the exact same way, using one less of an ingredient, <coughs> do it like that. I don't got no um eggs in mine. I'm just gonna put it in the oven on 350 and I'll let you know when it's all right I had it sitting 30 40 minutes who knows but cut me a little slice you see how moist oh my goodness uh, mm -mm -mm. Hmm. it's still hot this should say for like about close to an hour it smells just like Thanksgiving too you know that sage I smell it. It's moist. I know some people boil their chicken. I don't want to boil mine. I, I like to bake it. Like it's more flavor to me. Yeah, this is good. I know some, some people say, why do you eat it with like gravy uh the cranberry sauce? The cranberry sauce is actually for something else, so stay tuned for that floor as well. Eat mine without gravy as long as it's moisture, <laughs> you know, in the middle. I'm good. Try this recipe, it's not too salted, like too much, but you still takes it that salted, just that sage. That's pretty much it, y'all. I give it a 10. It, it tastes like the holiday, it tastes like things here, y'all. She like me, she share me, she's got my channel, y'all. And I have enough energy, I try to put some more stuff out. <laughs> have a nice day.